When I looked through my mail today, I found a fourth mailer from the campaign of Matt Intenza. This thing, which is the second attack piece in a row repeating Intenza's debunked claims against Rebecca Otto. You can see he has this um, NPR verified, and uh, she denied it, but NPR proved her wrong. Well, you know who thinks NPR didn't prove her wrong? The Office of Administrative Hearings, where Intenza brought his complaint that Otto lied when she denied supporting voter ID. The judges threw out the complaint, essentially saying to Intenza, this is a bunch of nonsense. It was written in proper legal language, of course, and you can read it yourself. Uh, if you're watching uh, this on Minnesota Progressive Project, look under the video. It's uh, embedded further down the post. All right. Now, with the first mailer making this claim, at, at least it, it came out this, the same day as the judges told Intenza that his claim auto lied is nonsense. Embarrassing, but he gets to stop. Yet, here he is, sending out yet another, as if re repeating the false charge will make it true. Right. To Matt Intenza, I ask, do you really want to do this to your party? Uh, do you really think that divisiveness and bitterness as a central campaign strategy it really makes sense? Uh, do you want it for yourself that badly? And, well, think what you're doing to your friend Keith Ellison. He's left hanging out there as the only DFLer to endorse you. Yet, um, you're dragging him down with you. you. Just do him a favor and let him go. Now, to any DFLers thinking about voting for Intenza, is this really the sort of candidate you want representing our party? Uh, do you really think that he'll pull this, this crap just for the primary? Of course he'll do it during the general election, too. I mean, think about how he's going to embarrass you when Republicans complain that he's twisting things to attack their candidate and their right. Now, you know that if Otto is our candidate again, that won't happen. We won't have to answer for her campaign tactics because we know she plays it straight. Right? So, think about that before you give credence to this kind of campaign.